Hello everybody, welcome back to Gun Activities 365. Just wanted to do a quick little video here on a new um, gun pickup that I got. I ordered this from PSA, as you can tell. Um, got shipped to my FFL, went there, fell off paperwork, paid, um, picked it up, everything's good, so here we are. Um, I went ahead and got the PSA Rock 5.7, um, one magazine, sniper green color. Um, comes in this bag here. I paid $319.99 for this. Um... In my opinion, compared to other uh, 5.7 pistols, things like that, this is um, literally under half the price. So that is why I went with this, and I wanted to try it. Um, I have not actually ever bought a gun that is PSA branded that is one of their actual guns. So um, 5.7 by 28, not something to have. It's kind of a cool, weird, obscure caliber to me. Um, so I figured I would try it. So let's get into it. comes in this bag here. Um, and I, uh, I've had some problems with PSA. You guys know that, um, I'm, I'm letting that be known on this deal here. I haven't had an issue and I will say for the price, everything, this is an amazing deal. Um, PSA knocked it out of the park on this one. Um, that's what I'm here for guys is to tell the truth and to be honest and, uh, kind of give you guys my reviews and be honest with what I'm buying and what I see and things like that. So, um, in my opinion, everything else with PSA set aside absolutely phenomenal this is the best thing um the the best thing that could come out with a 5.7 for the price range um they, they knocked out of the park with this um so to me what's really funny is this was 319 dollars 99 so we'll say 320 dollars. this case to me is worth 40 bucks i mean fit your gun in there you can get extra magazines the locks the the plates the this that the other the owner's manual whatever super cool to me um so up here, got the owner's manual, got the sticker. Um, I don't know if this is standard. Um, I got a, a plate pack with it. Um, everything you can see there. I got all that. Um, and we'll see it here in a minute. I'm not sure why because this isn't Optus cut. This isn't Optus ready. So I'm not sure if they just send them anyways in case you want to get the slide ready to roll for a red dot or something. Um, not 100% sure. But got the owner's manual. Sticker in there. Got the the little, um, the description, um, paper for the tags and everything, or for the place and everything, um, and here, we got the lock or the hanging target, it's Palomino branded, um, pretty cool, it's one thing I want to give Palomino credit to is, um, this is really cool to me that they're, they're putting their name on everything and they're branding everything themselves, so this gun is PSA, um, that lock is PSA, this bag is PSA, this magazine is actually PSA, um, these base plates and everything are PSA, well, I, I don't 100% know if these are, I guess I haven't really messed with them, I haven't really wanted to mess with them, um, says use screws with blue Loctite for Hollison, um, doesn't really help me because I can't put it on, so, um, I did get that, get the chamber flag indicator, we'll just shove that back in there where it was, um, this model here was the one magazine, sniper green, so we'll go ahead and pull out here. Um, I have not shot this gun. It's going to be a little bit until I get to shooting these new guns, guys, and trying this ammunition stuff. Um, I got a lot. I got a lot going on. A um, lot of, a lot of family stuff. A lot of work. Um, I actually have a event coming up in um, when is it? April? Like the? I can't remember. Somewhere in April um, for. Um, something I'm doing, so I, I have to put a lot of focus to that, so that's why guns haven't been getting shot and things haven't been going, and then like the last four days it's been raining here. Um, two weeks ago it was negative 30 and got a foot of snow and just not shooting, um, it's not ideal shooting weather, so it is what it is, but we'll make sure this is unloaded, everything's good, everything's fine. Um, so, magazine here. 23 plus 1, 5, 7 by 28. You can clearly see it there. It's branded Palmetto. I'm not sure if they're making it themselves. Someone else is making it for them. I don't know how that works, but um, pretty cool to me. It's branded for them. Uh, you can see right there the 5, 7 rock. Like I said, this is the Sniper Green. Um, I would have preferred... Um, well, I say I would have preferred to have black because that's how I am. I like... I don't know. Black's a good color to me. I like black. Um, but... It, this is cool to me because it's something different. Um, it's not the same black gun. Black, 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 black. Um, now, I don't want a yellow gun, but, you know, uh, 
I enjoy some different colors of guns sometimes, so that's kind of why I went with this, and it was the price, too. Um, the black one, I can't remember, was 380 bucks or something. This one with the setup and everything was... Um, it was $319.99, so it, it, it was a no-brainer me to get this. It's a little different color and everything, but... Um, so, like I said, 23 plus 1. We're going to go over something I wrote down, some stuff I wrote down here just off their website for you guys to know the facts and uh, kind of stuff like that. So it's full-size gun. The capacity is 23 plus 1. The weight is 25.2 ounces. Um, that is unloaded, just how it sits right here. That is for this model also. Um, the barrel is carbon steel. Barrel length is 4.7 inches. The barrel twist is 1 and 9. And the action is delayed blow black, blowback striker fired. It's the basic information we need to know about this. Um, this came with one magazine. One thing I really like about this bag, guys, is... See that? I can put this here. I can put this here. I can put it wherever I want. I'm going to put it back right where they had it. Um, there's a reason it's there. I think it works best there. This is the one magazine. Um, you can go online and get these magazines on PSA's website for $24.99. Um, they also do have a value pack of 10 for like a hundred and I can't remember how much it is. They have a value pack of 10 um, that I believe saves you money. You can go in there and get those. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and grab uh, probably two more of these. Just have three for now is uh, I think what I'm going to do. I don't want 10 for this. I don't need 10 for this. I'm not going to shoot this. that. This isn't a gun that I'm going to shoot um, 17 days out of the month or anything. This gun, I guarantee, is going to get shot less than... Um, less than two dozen times a year is what i'm gonna guess uh the reason for that is the the price of ammunition it's you know 50 cents around sometimes um if you can find it a good deal and sometimes it's up to 70 80 cents around it's it sometimes it's a dollar around especially around me at the price of seven, five seven by 20 is insane so um yeah you guys get you guys get it here um three dot sites very good sites um everything feels good um i i like it the serrations here are great. Um, it does have a one second. It does have a fluted barrel. This is the non-threaded model. Um, it was obviously that reflects the price and everything, but um, I'm okay with that. And you people that say that's not good to do, get over it because it's not going to hurt it. Um, now, if you do it a million times, it's going to hurt it, but it'll be fine. I'm not going to try to take it down or anything. Um, YouTube doesn't like that, so maybe in a different video we'll do it and not worry about it. Um, this. So, you got your magazine release, um, you got your slide release. Um, it does not have a safety. The only sort of safety it has is right here, where if you're not pressing in that little tab, it's not gonna go off. If you're pressing in that tab, it's gonna go off. Um, I have not shot this gun, but just plinking around with it, messing, um, acting like I'm plinking around anyway, just kind of dry firing, shooting the light socket, or the, light socket and the light switch per se um you know it it the trigger is horrendous it, the trigger on this is absolutely terrible if that's what i want one if i get one thing across you guys that's what it is two things actually i haven't shot it yet but first impressions i mean this is an amazing deal if you can find this for 320 dollars buy it up um buy one buy two buy seven that's up to you um but i i think this is a great deal for 320 dollars um that's the first thing I want to get through to you. The second thing I want to get through to you is this trigger is horrendous out of the box. Um, but I knew that buying it, it's not a blow at PSA. I knew that, um, you know, for $320, we can't expect a, a two pound trigger or nothing or a one and a half pound trigger or a hair trigger. Um, get over it. But just know the, um, the trigger in this is horrendous. Um, and what I mean by that is... It's not bad here. I can find the wall, right? We're not going off. I'm at the wall. Okay, I'm not even joking. How I have my hand here all twisted like this. Um, well, I was pulling so hard, it's starting to hurt in my wrist, which is insane. But um, regardless, uh, if I had to guess, this is probably a, I don't know, I'm going to guess a 15-pound trigger. Um it is bad. Like, it, it could even be a 19-pound trigger. I don't know, but I, I know this is over 12-pound trigger. I will bet. Um, I will go buy a gauge just to prove that to you. I don't have a gauge because I don't care what the trigger pull is. It's either good or it's bad, and sometimes they get better, sometimes they don't. But when I bought this, 
I knew the trigger was bad. That's what everyone says about these. Everyone says they're really reliable, great guns, other than, you know, the couple here and there, but the trigger's the bad part about them. Um, I have not went out and shot it, like I said, but, um, you know, it, it just, it, it's not great. Um, the reset and everything is great. Everything's good. It's just the simple pull. Um, like, that's fine if that was the trigger, but then you have to get to the wall, and then you got to just yank and pull, and it's it doesn't want to go off. Um, everyone's saying the, the more times you mess with this, whether it's two, three, four, five, six hundred rounds um, pulling the trigger or um, shooting it or just dry firing it or, you know, whatever it may be, the trigger gets a lot better, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, standard Picatinny rail here. Um, other than that, there's not much to go over, guys. It's a $320 gun. Um, I expect this thing to work awesome and have no issues just like everybody else has. Everyone says it's an amazing gun. Um, the reason I got this, like I said, is because this is under half the price of the next closest thing to it that I'm aware of anyways. I think the next closest thing to this is Ruger, and it's over 700 bucks, I believe. Um, so that's why I went with this. I think it was a great deal. Um, you know, I, I think it was a good idea to grab it and... Uh, you know, I, I'm happy with it. I'm, I'm really, really happy with it. Um, shipping, everything was good. Um, had this within, you know, a week to the gun store, whatever it was. Um, it, I don't know. It, this this transaction on PSA was perfect. That's all I'm going to say about it, I guess. But um, we're going to have shooting videos of this. We're going to try different ammos. We're going to see if it hates certain ammos or if it, uh, if it likes certain things and not others. Or I guess how it reacts to some stuff. And we'll go from there. Um... You know, it's nothing nothing too special, but for a $320 gun and 5.7x28, something I don't have, but something I want to have in the arsenal or collection, per se. Um, I don't really, I, I don't know if I would call it an arsenal, but I'll say collection. Um, I have a lot of guns that I collect. Like this gun, like I said, it's not, it's not I'm not going to carry this gun. I'm not going to shoot it every single week. Um, to me, it's just something cool, weird, and obscure, something different, so... Um, $320 from PSA, like I said, as you see it right here, the bag, the gun, the lock, the the base plates for the red dots. Not sure why they're on there. I don't know if that's a standard procedure. They send that out with everything, but um, it is what it is, I guess. Um, you got the manual, the, the sticker, the uh, little description uh, paper. You got one magazine with it, the gun, um, flag indicator, uh, everything here for $320. Uh, that was a great deal to me, so that's why I picked it up. If you guys have this gun, let me know what you think about it. Let me know your experiences. Um, maybe you prefer a different um, handgun rifle, whatever it may be, and 5.7x28. Let me know down below. But I just want to show this pickup and let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.